This is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and I have a project that I need done, and I thought it's a good uh, time for me to show you how I dissect, um, or perform, I know some people say perform surgery, on a book in order to extract items for a junk journal. So I got a few Christmas books, and I'm going to be pulling those out. I got some other books, too, uh, that aren't Christmas, but we do have, oh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's only maybe two Christmas books in this. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Oh, I'm really shaking. They're heavy, and they're shaking my camera. But I will show you, uh, this is one book that I got that is a really fun one for me. When I take apart a book, what I'll usually do is come in with my knife, although apparently it's not there. I took it out because I was doing this in the other room. So the, I just, uh, I would use, I'd usually cut it right here. And then I save these pages as like plain, this would be like a plain white. Sometimes there's like straw paper or some interesting color or pattern paper. So these I love saving. And I usually save a cool title page. This one is not a title page I would probably save, but uh, cool images. This one is full of images of clocks. And so I would probably fussy cut all of these out. And then the book pages are not bad. They're pretty good, so I'd save all the text pages of uh, this. I would now, now that I've done that Tim Holtz thing, I'd probably save these for like collage. And uh, yeah, there's lots of cool things. I got a little note in here. Post-it note. Oh, they have a road inside there. How fun. Anyway, lots of cool images. Look at, we've got some old fellers here we could use for our Tim Holtz clusters. The, this guy right here over to the side look at him so you know these images of those people are lovely clock makers there's quite a few of those in here like this guy you could put him in there too there's uh images of an old invoice for a watch old illustration very good so lots of cool stuff um it's pretty sparse as far as images so I wouldn't worry about a two-sided issue where you've got you know stuff on both sides if I do have those and I really like both items I will save that and maybe use that for instance as like a brochure so I would pull this in half or maybe a signature in a, a tall skinny journal or yeah, I would collage around it, make it a little something, something. So I usually pull out the index pages and put those all in a pile because those make really cool uh, just background pages for collage. So I like the index usually. And again, there's a page on the back. Then I uh, cut the spine off and I use, I take the spine and I, could, I wish I could show you, but I usually pull off, this is almost like a canvas covering, and I'll cut this, these in sections and use these uh, in collage and so forth. So I'd keep this image and it would be really thin. There's like a cardboard spine, you know, you know all books are made. There's a spine that this paper covers. And then I'd keep the front and the back for a journal. Uh, front cover and then I'd for the the front and the back cover I'd use a wider spine of like cereal box material so that's generally how that works I'm not going to do anything with that book today because I'm focusing on Christmas okay this is the book of Christmas I believe it did have a cover on it and uh, oh it's already like broken and I got it for a dollar it was in the garbage bin Goodwill was about to incinerate it and if I didn't buy it. So that's where it would have ended up. Lots of good images. So we're going to have fun going through this book. 
<laughs> this is really funny. I just grabbed this because I opened it up. It's a really thick hymnal. We love music paper. So if I see them for a dollar, this is a lot of paper. But when I opened it up, I realized it's like there was a puppy that chewed on it. So there's some very interesting pages that I'll have to sort of <laughs> uh, take apart later. So that'll be a fun little project. Uh, not worrying too much about hymnal pages. What the heck? Maybe that's why they were in the garbage bin. Uh, what's this one? A little note on there. This is... Uh, so th I like this paper. So if I were to tear this paper, this is like straw paper, I think. Um, if it is not straw paper, somebody let me know, but I'm, I always thought this was straw paper. You tear it and it's the color all the way through the paper. So unlike scrapbooking paper, you tear it and it's white in the middle. This one is nice for collage and so forth. So for Christmas collage, this will be wonderful. I could stamp on it, love it all day long. I don't, uh, I don't know. I could fussy cut some of those birds out. Most of them probably not because they're like facing backwards. Uh, what is this? Yeah, it, it is a antiques, country antiques and collectibles. So this is not specifically a Christmas book, although it probably has Christmas images in it. Here's a nice like snowy scene. I would use that for a Christmas journal. So we're just gonna, oh, it's happening, it's happening. I really need my exacto knife. I'm gonna have to go get it. And then if I'm feeling a little, little something, something, there. So one image saved. This goes in my heap pile of saves. And then I'm just gonna go through, pick out my favorites and see where we go. See what we find. That's real fun for collage. It's like little, but it's like a photograph, so it's not the greatest. This would be fun, these little pieces for a journal to just save that, those little things. Little image. The reason I like these books is I fussy cut out the antique furniture. Now, so far I'm not finding much of this one I would use as an envelope or a background page. It would actually be really cool in a tall skinny journal as a signature. So you could just fold it in half. That's a very pretty scene. And then this side. That would look good. That would look good. Okay, let's do it. I have a little spot where I keep the tall skinnies. Oh, just hit the camera. Whoopsie daisy. And that was the rest of the image, so might as well put them together. Don't hit your... I hit the camera and my light all at the same time. So it's pretty special. Uh, this one I might use as an envelope, so sometimes I'll take them out and I'll, I'll make it into a square and then fold it into an envelope real quick like. Sometimes I like to fussy cut the furniture. This one I might fussy cut. I won't because of the picture on the back, but I love fussy cutting chairs out and then just putting them on top of a collage. Love doing that. They look so good. All of this furniture, you just fussy cut it. I can't think of I, I have some in here already cut, but anyway, they look very cool. It's just like a little bit different from the clocks. Same, same. And uh, it's just a little bit different from the standard birds, butterflies, and mushrooms thing we got going on a lot of times. Oh, look at these. Those are cool. Those I will fussy cut out for sure, for sure. Very cute. I'm, I'm gonna be strong and only cut out, look at these rugs, love putting those. Uh, and fussy cut, make sure there's no white on those and, uh, and distress brown the edges and they look amazing. These envelopes, envelopes, I love how those look. Oh, that's cool image. Very neat. Tables, that's a little trickier to cut, fussy cut out. But these, I would actually probably cut off the legs on all these and just cut out the box part on here and here. Probably that one too. The, 
the chests are very cool. You can even add your own like stamped designs to that, especially with the oxides. So I could find like a little, let me just give it a whirl. I've got this stamp right here. Oh, uh, what color do we have? Let's try the blue because it's a darker color. I don't think, I think the light would look fine too, but let's see how this works. And then we can make it even more decorative. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> so, you know, this one right here would be perfect for a, a little stamp on the front. All of these. Very cool. And just because they're black and white, it does not matter a smidge. Oh, look at that. That's super cool. Anyway, I could go through this whole book page by page, but you kind of get the idea. I'm going to do a quick look to make sure if we find any Christmas stuff. Oh, this I would I could use for Christmas. Oh, it's two-sided. Forget it. <laughs> you know, I can't do it. I have a problem. Yeah, that's okay. very cool so all day long like anytime I see country furniture uh country antiques and collectibles or anything with like furniture good stuff in there tons look at all these antique images oh they're amazing look at these Fatima cigarettes <laughs> Polly put the kettle on oh my gosh the coca-cola Dr. Pepper. Love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. I almost didn't notice. Look at that key. Wow. Cool, cool stuff. Oh, look at that. It's a library card catalog. Image. More. I have one of those. Probably everybody does. Little Prince Albert tin. The Enchanter, like that one. Vintage advertising is super cool. I do these too. I, I have a bunch. I have a whole book of these um, fire, they're, for, they're called fire marks. And they were metal, sorry, this is it right here. They were metal plaques that went on firemen's equipment and things like that. And uh, there's a, I have like a whole book of these fireman plaques. And they're, they're smaller though. They're like this big, perfect for like collage clusters and stuff. They're very neat. So there's that. Um, if they're really glossy index, page, index pages, I don't necessarily keep them. But these aren't, these have a nice cream colored. And then, of course, more straw paper in the back. So, no Christmas in that one either. All right, here's another one. Very good one. Uh, Encyclopedia of Collectibles. See one of these? Pick it up because you're about to get your mind blown. Oh, more straw paper with, with uh, yellowing along the edges. This beautiful color. Oh, oh, love it. But anyway. There's like a spider web on the bottom of it. Yikes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Some early images. These are wonderful to fussy cut out. Put on a page. These are cool. Oh, man. And then we start getting into the images of the old advertisements. They're amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna, you get the idea. I'm gonna go real fast and look for Christmas stuff. All these old games. I have one, one of them was like the whole book was of games. And so I cut them all out and they're all really small sizes. So they're like this. I'm totally hoarding them. I have them in a little box uh, container together and I, I, I just can't use them. They're too amazing. I should use them. Oh, look at her. That's a Christmas thing. 
It says Merry Christmas for Papa. Oh, geez, Christmas wishes with the season's greetings. They don't look Christmassy, but the whole, here's more Christmas stuff here. A cheerful Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. And then guns. <laughs> oh, I do have a couple of rifle books. So if anybody's interested in rifles, got a lot of those. Oh, look at these. Rug hooking. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. I know I should save those Christmas ones, but I'm not gonna. Because I've still got these. We'll see, but I don't think so. Okay. Ideals. This is a Christmas treasury, so this is much bigger than all because normally an ideals would be more like this thickness and this is like four times so we are in for some fun little straw paper in the front okay christmas treasury we're just going for it contents page and what i like to do is just create little uh so for this one, oh, I don't know if you'll be, I, I'm not really fond of the tearing noise, but so for like this, a little Christmas on the window. So I would keep that. For these, I don't think they look very Christmassy. So I'm, but I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm still going to keep them. So actually this looks kind of cute too. Put that with the Christmas. Okay. So I've got to put those in a pile. Holiday presentations. Money. So I'm going to do this and then I'll just do like that. I don't know if we want that guy. He's like a, kind of a weird snowman. That was a cool crane, but it was a little big. What do we have on the other side? We have the White House decorated in Christmas. <laughs> Christmas at the White House. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is make this I'm just gonna fold that over so it'll be like a little booklet, like Christmas at the White House. And then the trees on the back. This, I don't know about. Oh, that's perfect. That's a nice little Christmas scene. So that's good. And then I just have tons and tons of ephemera for uh, Christmas. This one's tough, cause there's so much on it. Let me set that aside full page situations. Oh, look at how pretty the sky is. It's lovely. Yeah, this should just be like uh, totally cut intact. That happens a lot with with ideals is that you just can't break it apart very much because it's so uh, the pages are just the whole image. So we've got like a winter landscape page. So I might do that you know what I would do with this? Have it open up like. Let's see if I can do it. And then we fold it and we fold it. Okay, I think I can do it. Oh, it's got to go this way. Oops. All right, we can do it. We can do it figure it out. Christmas in the country. There we go. So then we put a little bow on here, glue this down on the page, and then and then you, you're you able to just open it up and read the image. So that's what I would do with that. Some of these I would use for like hinging. Oh man, look at those pictures. This would be really good for a tall skinny journal, don't you think? Like just like that. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. This 
this really neat little image. We put as a little cluster, maybe, or a brochure. I meant. I meant brochure. Well, this one makes the decision easier. It's just a, <laughs> I could almost make it into a little foldy thing inside of there. So you could decorate all of this with Christmas collage, and then you open it up and you see the whole thing. Beauty must. The sleighs are lovely. Lovely. So many sleighs in the Ideals Christmas treasury. This is so pretty right there. The warmth of home at Christmas. The picture, yeah. But the rest of it, good. <laughs> Actually, you know what I would do? Oh, I see it now. I see it. I see it. All right. Wait for it. So keep this part. Back doesn't matter. And then this part. And we're good. We are good. God bless us, everyone. Oh, I just dropped my ruler. Okay. So pretty. Oh, Whole thing's coming out. That's handy. <laughs> well, I'm just going to do this. So then we've got some little borders, and they're both sides. Book page. Know about those tiny Tim Charles Dickens? Oh, look at that one! That's lovely. That would work for a tall skinny too because you just have that and that. Very cute. But I am not making a tall skinny Christmas journal. Another one of these Christmas through a child's eyes. I really like the toy shop images. A lot better. Oh, I can use this whole page. Cut it apart like that, and then use the two different pieces on different for different pages. We're doing it. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna go down like this. And we'll do the bottom too. There we are. Oh, look at the cool Santa picture. Oh, Santa, you're fabulous. I would actually probably do this because that I could fit in a journal a little better. Looks like he's smoking his candle snuffer. <laughs> are they pipes too? I don't know. And then all that. It's kind of fun. Quilt. <laughs> there you go, Santa Claus. The sugar plum tree. Oh, look at that image. <gasps> That's amazing. See? It would work really... No, it wouldn't. I just love those. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to tear that out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Too many choices. The life of Santa Claus. I know what I'm always looking for is more Santa pictures, like a really good image of Santa. Now I'm seeing it right here. The juggler. Pretty paper. Look at that. Okay, we're just keeping that. Or like collage or whatever. Or just maybe fold it up into a little letter kind of thing. Oh, a little match girl. Some of these are so big. The images are big. It's tricky. It's tricky. 
Little Boy Blue blocks. Oh, Dear Santa. That's a good image right there. Look at that. It's so big. <laughs> it's giant. How can you use that? I don't know. I'd probably just end up using this page. You know, that one's super cool. I don't know what to do. Make, I'm getting decision fatigue already. Little toys for Christmas. Christmas in memory lane. It's like graphic novel style. And then we've got all of the Christmas pictures. Oh, that's cool. These are really cool. Spirit of Giving. Look at that paper. That looks so neat. Now, this I'll probably use just like this. Finally, something I can get my ruler out. <laughs> A Christmas meditation. Okay. Oh. oh, we're tearing this way. So we'll go like that and like this. And we've got little Christmas uh, antique Christmas scene, old fashioned Christmas scene. That's what I was trying to think of. And there's the snow bits. And then another tree with the rocky horse. Very cute. And then, of course, we'll take the Christmas meditation a little bit smaller. So, and then we'll see what we've got on the back. Not too much. Okay. Christmas caroling. The gift of the Magi. It's a very modern picture. Oh, there we go. That I love. Okay. Don't, don't tear on me. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Am I going to do it here? Maybe? Okay. It's happening. It's happening. Dun, dun, dun. Guess we'll just match it up. There. Keep that one. That's very good. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. Oh, the jingle bells thing at the top. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, might just have to make a tall skinny. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So wonderful. Oh, look at Joy to the World on the back. Oh no! Good gravy. Choices in life. Okay, it could be a hinged piece. Hinged piece. Look at that Christmas tree! That's very vintage, but cool. This is pretty neat. Bulgaria, Denmark, Poland, Italy, England, Switz Switzerland, and Christmas spirit with some lovely poinsettias on there. All right. Hello. 
I wasn't very good at making decisions <laughs> and getting like clusters of things out, but I did get a little pile here. So there's that. Okay, now this one, let's try this one. Thirty minutes. This one will hopefully be easier. <laughs> oh. So cool. I know I'm looking kind of like for Christmas trees and Santa Claus and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. So we're just gonna skip forward. Oh, here we go. All right. Here we go, looky loo. Here we go, looky lie. Don't need to be too specific. Oh, that's very convenient. Delightful. Oh no, I'm good. We're good. Super cute. Oh my gosh. So far I haven't had to run it. Okay. Zacto knife. Very pretty. Little angels are cute. Maybe fussy couples. Not really. Oh, and this is really neat too. Angels we have heard on high. Yeah, I don't know. Save that one. This one. Oh, same thing. That'll be good for a hinge cage. Kit together. Um, with all these other, like the birth of Christ and stuff. Maybe sell it in my Etsy shop. Not too much, but there's some really cool images. I know I'm going to an event, so I don't. I don't know. What's right? What's wrong? Where we're going to be making tags. So I, I know I'm like completely forgetting what I'm here for. And I'm here for people to make little tags out of Christmas tags. Out of these little images. So, hmm. Oh, isn't that cute? <gasps> oh. My goodness. Oh no. <laughs> they get me indecisive. This one I don't have to decide, then I can just put it in the pile and somebody else will decide. <laughs> Which one they like better? Oh, Christmas 1863. Very cute. Good housekeeping. Housekeeping. Oh, the bird is adorable. It's adorable. Lots of book page in here. Gramophone. I like the bird better.
This one, no decisions had to be made. Yay! <laughs> what is that? It's like some kind of a Christmas party. Oh, that's not pretty. Oh, ice skates and a lantern. I see it now. A little Christmas get together. Christmas party. Christmas moon. Oh, velvet shoes. Not cute. The fir tree. This I want. This one I like. And I... Oh no, that worked. <laughs> I was like, ah, nope, no, we're good. Ta da! There we go. I was trying to cut corners instead I missed. Oh, the mice. Oh, thanks. Oh, path. Cutting wood. Actually, this is really pretty text. Almost missed it. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. Font is pretty. Oh, how cute. And then when I'm, when I have another day to go through this, then I'll. This book page is actually pretty good, too, because it's uh, got a nice yellow edge to it. And Christmas at sea. Oh, snow days. This book has a lot of goodies in it. The holly and the ivy. I like that one. Christmas Carol, Marley's Ghost. Yellow. Ah! She's adorable. Scrooge. Oh, it's like the whole story. Neat. Um, that's kind of weird. Got a weird picture, but this is good. Got like the little lantern thing. Oh, the blue's kind of nice. All right, I'll save the edge of that blue paper. A nice look to it. Oh, Christmas box. That's a good one. Yeah, I was gonna tell you too. Like the, I had a class. I was doing it to make a folio in person, and nobody signed up for it. Nope, nope, nobody did. And I thought, well, I mean, junk journal people want to make folios, but normal people, turns out they don't. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> what you going to do? Not enough to, to basically have enough people be able to see it. Oh, she's hilarious. She's so cute.
Here's the little cute, the font and the Christmas sayings. I'm really, I'm really into it. I like it. So a lot of times what I do with these books is I'll go through them for a certain purpose. And then I'll just leave them as is and come back and then I'll just kind of remember, oh, if I ever need, you know, uh, something different, I'll remember what's in the book or, or I'll just go through it again and look at it through different eyes and then I'll see different things and different purposes. So that's kind of... That's kind of how I do it. So I don't just look at, cause I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do with that right now, but you know, I might think of something later. So I just keep them for later. Sometimes these make little labels, like this is a really good yellow edge on this paper, so sometimes get that. Oh, that poor Scrooge. Now he's all happy. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, isn't that a cute image? It's so tiny too, it's perfect. Now, can I get everything out of this? I don't know. Okay, first of all, I'm going to tear it right here. I think that should do it. No, that's right in the middle. Okay. <laughs> tear it right here. Oh, what did you do? What have you done? Really good one. Sheesh. Anyway, so I, I'm gonna do, people can come in and make their own gift card, gift tags, gift tags, and maybe some ornaments, ornaments too, with these things. That's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, isn't that cute? Doesn't look very Christmassy. Scrapbook, oh, that's handy. Crafts, little holly. Holly it is. Whoever designed this book, they had me in my in my extracting <laughs> surgery in mind. It almost looks like this. There's not that much double-sided stuff, which is pretty good. <laughs> oh, all these little puppet felts. That's a lot of work to make all that felt. Holy cow. Okay, I like this one. Got myself some Indian food yesterday because I had to go down to... Woodman's to get my retreat food, which is a little bit nicer grocery store. And it was good. They've got a lot of variety too. Yeah, they had Indian food, so I like Indian food. Under the missile. Oh, who is this? This looks like, oh, it's not, but I haven't, uh, Elizabeth Bishop. She does art kind of like this. I really love it. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. And it's Christmassy. Yeah, I don't know what kind of art you call that. It's not Bishop because it says Moses is the signature. So, but it's very similar. I like that style a lot. I like it so much. Okay. I won't push it. Oh, maybe. Can't really tell what's going on in that picture. It's too small. Uh, 
little Christmas tree in the cabin. Who doesn't love that? Sears and Roebuck. The Great Price Maker. Cheapest Supply House. Hmm. I don't see where it says Christmas, but it's pretty cool. That's what you do at Christmas. So you read the, the Sears catalog. I just love this process so much. <laughs> I have no idea how much I enjoy this. I enjoy it a lot. Sometimes it's just easier to do that. Cute picture. Oh, it's like a for uh, nuts. Collecting nuts, probably. On the ground, maybe? Interesting. I never saw one before. I have a hickory tree. Now I got so mad this year because we didn't get any hickory nuts. Because we had a squirrel that was a jerk. A jerk. <laughs> you kept picking them off before they were ready. So by the time they hit the ground, they were bad. They weren't even good anymore. You ruined all the nuts. They'll never develop if you kick them out of the tree and throw the nuts out of the tree before they've fully formed. Oh, I'm so mad at him. Oh, this is cool looking paper. Neat. That's pretty cool too. I'm gonna just break it up. Yeah, now we're cooking. <laughs> this zebra stuff zebra it's cute it's just cute that is really cute oh look at that santi oh two santis awesome we've got this one Ta -da. Okay. and then we've got look at that this one Love those. My light's not very good. It's really dark in here. Got some papers over my. My light seems so dark. I just don't know. Oh, I got another cool Santy. Yeah, let me put that little. Number two. These are adorable. Oh, there's one on each side. Oh, look at this. That one I'm not very fond of. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. Better is a dinner of herbs. Where love is, then a stalled ox and, and hatred therewith. Ooh, that's kind of depressing. That's kind of dreary. Oh, doll. Isn't she cute? She's really cute. Carol of the Brown King. It's neat. Okay, this little ice skate thing. I do sometimes collect. Well, anyway. Okay, that little horse is adorable. I thought I was going to rip it. I threw it for a second there. Dun, dun, dun. It's like very meditative. Oh, put that right onto the floor. That's cool looking. Oh, I like the stockings. But I don't have to make a decision. I just have to put it down. <laughs> there. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, fancy no one's Christmas. Looks like shopping for Christmas trees. It's really hard to see. But the whole thing looks good. George, George Washington prepared himself a list of presents he planned to give to his five-year-old stepson, Jackie, and his three-year-old stepdaughter, Patsy. A bird on bellows, a cuckoo, a turnabout parrot, a grocer's shop, an aviary, a Prussian dragoon, a man smoking, a Tunbridge tea set, three neat Tunbridge toys, a neat book fashion tea chest, a box best household stuff, a straw patch box with a glass, a neat dressed wax, ba wax baby. <laughs> now that's interesting. Wow, keeping that. That would be good in a journal. Cute. Looks like Uncle Sam. I think it was. Christmas tree. I like that. One. Whoa. This is like a nice backdrop or something. Yeah. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Fun. Ooh, this is neat. Look at that. Fancy Christmas castle. I love it. Okay. And this is cool too. I don't know if that's very Christmassy, but. Oh, I just thought of something in this drawer. Oh, that could be Christmassy. But I have these red and greens that I always think that looks too Christmassy. Yeah. I just remembered. Why not take them out and use them for Christmas? Of course, now I can't find them. <laughs> oh, that's probably all there were. Anyway, those will look good on something, something. Some of these are. Also like this guy right here quite a lot. A little, little Christmas tree, a little holly. Okay, I like these two. Ooh, a little stained glass church. And this cool Christmas tree art that I kind of love. Oh, that's neat. Family tree. And I think we made it all the way to the end. Okay, we got a ton of images for small gift tags. Look at all this. Holy cow. That's plenty for people to make little DIY tags and stuff. One of these things doesn't belong here. Probably take this one out and put it this way. This one, this one. And I got all this stuff. So that's a pretty good stack. 
I would think. And the other stuff, I don't know, I just, I guess I could make smaller stuff out of it, but I just, I'm not sure I want to. I just don't want to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, now this is how I do it. Okay, let's go over here. I think I was saving. Anyway, oh, these were Christmas. And everything else is just my regular scrap scrap of doodles that'll keep for journal stuff. I'll probably end up going through it one more time. One more time. Okay. Uh, so what I'm thinking is I will go through this book and if there's any pictures that as a whole are not crazy about them, then I might kind of dissect them smaller. But mostly I just love it. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. Okay, so this one I wasn't too crazy about. <sighs> or that one. So I'm just going to do this. Break it off into little sections and... And if people like some part of it, they can use it. And if they like the other side, they can use the other side. Like the deer. Or the See, like that turned out good. Ooh. I don't know about him. The deer are cute. And that's a nice, like, winter scene. Okay. And I saved the deer. So we're good. We are good. I don't, I, I could save this. Absolutely. Cookies, oh, is that too big? I don't know. Maybe too big for a tag. It is. Journal. Journal. Dear Sandy. Journal. I'm not ready to take him apart. This one. This one I may not be super crazy about, so we're just gonna do it. We're gonna we're just gonna pick it apart and see what happens. I got a little Santa here. Got a snowman. Some random lamp and a I don't know, that looks very Christmassy. Got Santa over here. Both sides look good. Random like chair. <laughs> that one looks good. This one, not so much. Okay, we did something. That's good. I think we can save the train. Yeah. The little blocks are so cute. Now, none of this hardly looks very Christmassy to me. The doll is kind of nice. They're just like little toys. Okay, Christmas down memory lane. Okay, we can maybe try this. What we're gonna do. Oh, memory lane. Yeah, the little. Okay, you have, to, you have to stay. And this, oof. Journal. So much going on in here. I, I think I think we can get and take this stuff out of here. I'm seeing it now. We can just, there we go. Yep. Got this little church. We've got going down the lane. We've got Christmas stuff on there. Christmas decorations. Let's take out 
this one. That will work. Oh, so much going on down there. Yep, we're just going to pull it apart in blocks and see what happens. Thinking. There. There we go. There's a lot going on in here. Wow. That is very nice. That could be a tag. Got chitty chatting. We've got some wreaths. People talking. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay, this is working. See, sometimes you just have to go through it again with a different goal in mind, and then you see it differently. And see this one and that one. That in here. So we'll try this. We'll just do it like that. And the little they're going up to the little house. This will be really big. I think it's gotta go like this. So we've got the little house with the wreath on it. That works. And then trudging through the snow or buying Christmas gifts. Oh, that one's cute too. Haha, <laughs> this is really working. Got a nice wreath. Wreath in the window. That one's a bit too big of an image, so we'll just do it this way. Handing out some samples. Either way. Oh. Okay, so now that was all of the, I know I'm wondering if I should put this all together, save it to sell, yeah, so pretty, pretty. I'm doing it. I'm saving these. These can all just right here, hopefully. Yep, that worked. That worked. Hmm. I'll do this one. Either way, the other. Some, some of it is going to get squashed. Well, it's got red backwards. <laughs> ah. So they pre presented unto him. That's cool. That's very cool. That will be good stuff. Hold some red. Sometimes you just need a little something red in your Christmas. Right? Yep. There we go. This one. Yeah, this will work too. Let's do it. We're just going to tear it apart. And we'll have little sections of holly. Oop, you can do it. And that will be beautiful. Little sections. And if you flip them over, they've got like bells too, so. Yeah, we can 
take this one apart. Church. And the story of Christmas bells. And then this one we've either got that or that. And a tree. It's, I like that font. That font is cool. Okay, this one's really pretty right here. Well, we've got the bells on this side. And then this one, we've got that, which is really cute. They get smaller if they wanted to. Oh, that one, I just can't. I can't do it. I can cut this part off. I can't do it. <laughs> nope, can't do it. What about this one? <sighs> it's too big for a tag. Let it go, let it go. Well, isn't she adorable with her little head thing? No, can't do it. Changed my mind. <laughs> and this one, I don't know. Those are cool. There's like a country on both sides. So I know I'm like, well, if you are Italian and English, I could give you this one. If you're Polish and from Denmark, I'll give you that one. They're both Bulgarian and Philippine, Philip, Filipino. I got, I figured it out. This one's Sicily. Isn't that just a, Italy and Greece? <laughs> I'll mail it to you. <laughs> but if you're Swiss, all you have to be is Swiss. And then also have Christmas spirit. Because that's what it says right there. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> So take all of these, like that would go in a big journal, because I have done you know, the heart to tear it apart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make some Christmas bundles. But I came up with a lot more paper, so I've got all those for people to just sit down and make some tags. Yeah, we did it. That was a long time. All right. Well, as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.